episode 445, evolutionary.org radio coming your way, Steve Schmee and the Ricky V Rock. What's up, buddy? The Rickster. Hey, what's up, Steve? What's up, guys? How's everybody doing out there? So Q&A today, this time I have um, some questions that came in about N2BM products. And I'm lucky enough that Rick is the owner of N2BM. And he's been working on N2BM for a long time, I think at least 15 years. And I've been a customer from from day one. Um, I've always used their products as my supplements on and off cycle. So in this one, it's going to be a fun one. I'm going to talk to Rick about his products and we're going to kind of get into it and tell you the best way to run the products. Yeah, guys. So um, by the time you listen to this podcast, if you are listening to it uh, when it's released, getting updated on your phone from Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, YouTube channel, wherever you're subscribed, then you're going to be going into January. And although we we stay on the grind year round for years, we're not one of the seasonal um, bodybuilders or seasonal fitness people that come in there, pay their membership, and then they they don't show up at past March. Um, Even though we're not one of those guys, I know at least me, I like to kind of set my mindset on what I want to achieve that next year of what achievements I want to make for myself for that, for that year coming up, what, what I want to, what I want to get out of this, that year coming. And so it's always great. It's always just a good idea to, to get your mind geared up. And, and I want to be there for you. I want to continue to make this podcast for you guys to give you guys all the information about it. And I want to provide you my products. You know, I, I, we, we put together these products and I say we, cause I've had help along the way, but I make sure to bring all these products to market because these are items I want to take myself. Uh, these are items that some family members take uh, just for general health. And I wasn't going to create a brand and, and start lying to people and, and trying to make people believe that my products could somehow build as much muscle as as steroids could they they can't not, none of the natural stuff out there could really match up to something like trembolone you know i mean it's just not not going to happen but i make a health brand of products that are to help you get the best results you can out of the out of the steroids you're taking and help you help your body stay healthy and that's kind of been the core principle of the brand and and i have a small customer base because there aren't all that many guys really juicing compared to the amount of gym goers out there. And not every guy that's, that's, uh, and, and so I stay to this really kind of small kind of hardcore niche market, which is you guys, the steroid user. So, uh, Steve is going to go over some of the pretty common question that comes up over and over again on the forums in regards to how to use my product with your steroid cycle, how my product can contribute to your cycle. And, I'm telling you, I've got some good stuff, man, that you will get way more out of those steroids than if you than if you go without. Because um, steroids do help. I mean, they're great. But a lot of other things need to be in line for them to even work properly. And then if you can enhance certain other things, you could get great results out of them, stay pretty safe, not have to pound on the dosing. So um, so let's get into it. Uh, Steve, what is, uh, what is the first question? So one we get a lot of, and this was a question sent in about N2 Slim. So the way it's spelled is N, the number two, S-L-I-N. And a lot of people get this confused because they think it's Slim, S-L-I-M. It's S-L-I-N. So N2 Slim is really good at blocking fat from being stored in the body. It has natural ingredients that help with that. It also is great as a nutrition partitioner. So a lot of people rave about this product, but a lot of people also, they don't understand exactly how it works and the best way to run it. So Rick, can you kind of explain a little bit what is Intuslin all about and kind of explain the best way to actually use it so you can benefit from it. Because if you don't use it the right way, I've, I've seen people not use it the right way and they haven't been able to get, tap into the actual best parts of it. 
Well, insulin sensitivity is, is important for how your body looks, how, how fatty or how lean you can get. Um, two people that have different levels of insulin resistance due to their uh, DNA will respond differently to the same foods. So Entuslin is, it falls under d- different categories that I've heard out there. Uh, insulin modulator, uh, nutrition partitioner, uh, a glucose disposal agent. I heard somebody call it recently. And really what Entuslin does is it, it has a, a full list of ingredients that all come together to help you create some of that insulin resistance in the fat cells so that your fat cells aren't readily open in the gate to take in uh, some of these calories that are floating in your bloodstream after you eat. And it also it makes helps make your, your muscle cells more sensitive to the insulin your body already makes to help you get um, more nutrients into the muscle cell, more into the muscle cell. So it really shifts that balance it just makes it so much easier. And then you you drop steroids on top of that. And we all know how insulin and steroids have been. A, it's the combination that makes the, the Olympia champions today. That's why these guys look the way they do. It's adding insulin to steroids. Uh, that Adding insulin, growth hormone to steroids is why the guys look the way they look today. And they didn't look like that in the 70s um, or 80s. And, and, and we had the same steroids that we have now. So that, that using the entuslin with your steroid cycle, whether you're cutting or bulking, it's just going to give you just, just, just that, it's just an edge. It's going to make it so that you're not really storing a lot of fat calories and so that your muscles are primed, they're primed to take in those calories. And, and in my opinion, I think it, it, it also helps um, on how your muscles respond uh, to the anabolics, the steroids. Now, the best way to take it is you take one, to as many as five capsules, about 30 to 45 minutes before you eat. How many should you take? Well, if you're on a low carbohydrate diet, one capsule is fine. You know, take one in the morning, even if you fast or, or, you, or you're intermittent fast, you take one in the morning. And then when you're setting to, to feed and depending on how many carb carbohydrates you're going to have in that meal, if you're having 20, 30, 100 grams of carbs. So one capsule covers you for up to about 20 grams of carbohydrates. Once you go over 20 grams, a second one is needed. 60 to 70 grams of carbs, three, four. Once you go over 100 grams of carbohydrates in a meal, we're like in, in, in real kind of cheat meal realm. And at that point, you might want to take four, five, six capsules of N2 Slim about 45 minutes before the meal. Make sure you eat, guys. Do not, please do not, anybody out there, take two, three, four caps of Entuslin and then you forget to eat. You're going to get lightheaded. All of those calories in your bloodstream are going to be stored up, are going to be taken in somewhere, and you're going to just feel the drop. You can get lightheaded. It's like the guys who, who shoot insulin and then don't, don't eat right after. Um, you, could, you could pass out. So make sure that, if you do take that many capsules that you do not forget to eat um, and definitely don't delay that meal, don't drive, you might, might get a little bit lightheaded from not having the calories. Now you take four or five, six capsules of Entuslin and, and you make sure to get your, your food in you, um, those carbohydrates in you um, about 45 minutes, uh, 60 minutes, you begin to eat, you, you'll be fine. You'll be just fine. And when you start taking Entuslin, you'll, you'll just walk around with a little pump all day. It's like a little carb load that your muscles are on. Most guys that take Entuslin, great majority report gaining uh, two to three to four pounds, depending how big you are to begin with, in the first week of use. And then you're not going to gain that much every week or every month. It doesn't happen that way. Uh, not just from the product alone. That, that additional little gain that you get, it's just your muscles filling out with more, more carbohydrates. Your, your body just, 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 just storing more. It's like a little, like a little carb load. Um, and it's, you know, depending on how big you are, it could be between one to, to four or five pounds. Notice them on the scale. You'll see it. You'll see it and you'll feel it. Your body will just feel a little bit tighter everywhere. And at that point, you're really primed for muscle growth. You drop some steroids and some good protein on top of that. And man, 
are you just going to be, you're just going to be a much better responder to the, to the steroids, a lower dosing, in my opinion, it's, it's what has been my experience with it. And a lot of other guys like it. So N2 Slend, you go to N, the number two Slend, S-L-I-N.com. And as in Nancy, number two, Slend.com, go there. It'll send you right to the, to an information page. You can, there's links there to link out, to actually go and purchase the product. You could go to need to build muscle.com and buy it. Uh, one, one or two bottles, depending on, on, uh, how much, how many calories you're eating. Uh, one bottle should last you a full month. Some guys go through two bottles per month. Uh, we, if you are going to have, you know, if you want to buy six, seven bottles, hit me up via email, big Rick rock at need to build muscle.com. Hit me up. I'll see what I can do for you as far as coupon codes and things like that. And um, definitely take it before meals, 30 to 45 minutes uh, with every single meal. If you're intermittent fat, if, if you're time restricted feeding and you're eating a four hour window, then you just take, take one in the morning with a lot of water you should be fine. Um, then about 45 minutes before you, you start your four hour feed, take about two, um, two more insulin, two to three, depending on how many carbs you're having. And then two hours into your feed, when you got two, about an hour and a half, two hours into your feed, when you got another two to go, then you could drop another uh, two to three uh, caps of insulin. You don't have to take them on an empty stomach. They're fine. They'll, they'll work even if you're not an empty stomach. It's just that we want the product to kind of be active, activate in the cells before you you eat before the calories come in so it just it just works out that way that you would take it if you're doing six meals a day you would take it 30 to 45 minutes before each of those six meals but if you're doing a four hour to six hour feet window um just take one in the morning with a lot of water and then take two to three 45 minutes before your you start feeding and then hour hour and a half two hours into it take another two to three depending on how much more food you got to go and you're fine. It's fine to take it. It's fine for it to be in your stomach with, with food. It, it absorbs fine. It's perfect. It's just, it, it's the contrast is those two, but, but yeah, it's, it's um just a great product, man. If you, if you take it standalone natural <clears throat> in between cycles, you, you, it'll just help you feel a lot leaner. It'll give you that extra little hardness in the muscles that steroids give you. It'll give you that extra little hard pump and the muscles that did you, that you have when you are on steroids that you usually don't have your muscles usually don't feel like that when you're when you're clean off the sauce so that, that's a that's a really cool aspect of it um to think about it yeah that, 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 that's, it. that's what i got for that answer steve what else you got yeah i know uh, uh some people who uh they have a cheat meal they'll take two or three before their cheat meal so it really helps block uh fat from being stored but at the end of the day you want to eat healthy when i go to pizzeria yeah when i go to pizzeria for a cheat meal like a like where i'm just ordering a big ass pie and and i know i'm gonna have that pie today it's it's gonna it's gonna go in my belly um i'll have as many as six uh uh, capsules of uh of entuslin it's fine like the only issue with taking more is if you don't eat it becomes more of an issue if you take them and then you don't you don't eat five or six you might be getting into blacking out realm where you're like you know you're you're just your sugar drops i mean everything drops. yeah yeah but, i've had that happen i got i i didn't eat but i didn't really um i didn't really know how to use it the, the best way the first time i tried it so yeah definitely listen to rick's advice yeah um, but i'll have i'll have as many six yeah. before i before i start having that before i start eating away at that pie and it might take me, you know, a couple hours to, to have a, a full uh, a, a pie is a big ass cheat meal that I planned, but that's it. I mean, about six ounces lints covered me at that point. That's a lot more in carbohydrates, but I don't, I don't really, see, I don't really see myself taking more than six uh, at one time. I've done as many as eight, but I think six is about where you want to be at. If you eat way more carbohydrates than that, then, you know, that's another story, but, but yeah, what else you got? The next one we're going to talk about is N2Guard. We had a lot of questions on N2Guard on the forum. A lot of people email me asking how to use N2Guard. They want to know, should you take it with or without food? They also want to know, should you take it at the same time when you're using oral steroids? So maybe talk a little bit about what N2Guard is, what motivated you to create it, and talk about these uh, questions on how best to use it. So N2Guard, um, we developed about a decade ago, and it was just a full product to cover you in every way that you need to that you'll be worried about as a, as a steroid user everything from heart kidneys 
water retention, the uh, liver, definitely a lot of focus on the liver. It's, it's one of the focuses of the product is for all these guys using orals or, or using SARMs, using Dianabol, Anavar, Osterin, GW, YK11, all of that shit. Uh, it's just a, got a great, great liver support a matrix. And we focus on it. We focus on it heavily um, on making sure to bring a really good, good product to market. Uh, it has Tutka in it, which is, you know, if you have liver, if your liver support doesn't have Tutka in it, then you're, you're, you know, you're, you're wasting your money because Tutka is the best ingredient for the liver. It's not the only one, but it's one of the more effective ones. And the way to use N2 Guard is you can take all seven capsules, if you don't mind, if you know if you can tolerate them. What I mean tolerate them is you're not going to burp a little bit of the ingredient after the food. You could take all seven capsules with one meal, or you could take two or three with each meal. Um, it doesn't quite matter. The way I like to do it is I like to take my steroids on as empty of a stomach as possible, well in between meals. And then I like to take my N2 Guard with the meal, like right on top of it. Like I might even start eating first then drop the N2 guard, uh, you know, wash, wash it down a little bit of water and then finish my, my, my salad and chicken. And that's the best way to take it. And then I would have my steroid dosing in between the meals. Um, you definitely don't want to take the N2 guard in the same handful as your steroids at the same time. As they're both going through the liver, as the ingredients are both going through the liver, you might run into an issue where the, the steroids are kind of becoming deactivated quickly, and, and you might you might feel you got bunk product from your source. You might feel the steroids just aren't working as well. Uh, you don't have to get crazy with it. They could be an hour apart, and it'll be fine. What you do have to be aware of is that they have to um, – that. You don't want to take them at the very same time. You don't want those capsules of N2 Guard opening up uh, in, in your in your stomach at the same time your tablet or capsule of steroids in there dissolving. That that's that's not the way to go. But steroids on as empty of a stomach as possible, N2 Guard with your uh, with your meals, you're pretty good to go, man. Um, you can take N2 Guard. Or you should take it during during cycle, especially if you're using orals. And you could take it also off cycle, uh, half dose. It take three to four capsules a day. You can stretch a bottle out for a couple of months, and it has vitamins, minerals. It has everything your body really needs to. To I mean, it's got a lot of really good stuff that that your body needs if you're a weightlifter. If you want to save some money on, on some of the more fancy ingredients that are more more necessary during the steroids, we we take those out. And just have a base formula for good multivitamin, multimineral that works for somebody who's weightlifting is off steroids. It's called 3D Multi. That one's real cheap. Uh, we sell it very, very cheap. It's under 20 bucks. And that's a good multivitamin for the bodybuilder. You could take that when you're not taking steroids. Or if you don't mind spending the extra, the extra cash to get some of those really good uh, regenerative kind of ingredients that are really helping, uh, that really help organs under stress, then and to guard, uh, it's really, it's a really, really good replacement for any multivitamin, multimineral you're taking every day. And I would, I mean, that's, that's what I like to use. And I, I you know, hope you guys out there really, really try it as well. Yeah, definitely a great product. You can tell the difference using it versus not using it. You can tell when you're on a cycle, it's like, whoa, you know, the side effects get lessened quite a bit. So it's a must use on cycle. I like to use up to 10 caps a day if it's a really strong cycle. If I'm like using Trendalone or something, I like to use like 10 a day. It really makes a difference for me. Next one we're going to talk about is what is the best time to apply into Transiderm? So into Transiderm, uh, for you guys out there, it's not a product that I promote a lot. Um, it, the reason I don't promote it a whole bunch is because uh, most of my uh, guys are already taking uh, SARMs and, and steroids. So into transoderm uh, is not one that I really spend a lot of time showing you guys. Plus, it, it's it's a little bit difficult and, and it takes time consuming to make each batch. But into trans transoderm is basically a topical testosterone booster that you apply on your skin. And what's 
real different about the way antitransoderm boosts testosterone as opposed to the herbs is that antitransoderm does not rely on your on your testicles to produce the testosterone. And, and to transoderm is not uh, doing anything to make your testicles do make more testosterone. The way into transoderm works is it it puts the precursor for testosterone on the skin. We we tell you where to apply. You apply it on the shoulders and upper back. It's the area where the enzymes in that area of your skin are the enzymes that are going to turn the, the precursor, the DHEA precursor into male hormones, into hormones that are androgenic anabolic. And there, testosterone is the one we know about the most, but there's, there's other ones, other dions and diodes, other andros uh, numbers in there. And I'll, I'll, we probably should do a whole podcast and a whole big write up on, on just what those are, but you apply the product on this, on the skin, on the shoulders, upper back. If you notice when you, when you use the sauce of steroids, upper shoulders and back is, is one of the places where most of the acne tends to form. And, and it's got a lot to do with uh, some of these steroids passing, uh, flowing through the, through the blood highway, which, which it does around those areas. And then come in contact with, with, uh, enzymes that shift their structure, um, might reduce some of the steroids and then they're, they're there. And then they, they attach to androgen receptors on, on some of your glands and your skin and, and then begin to, to cause some problems. And this is why uh, it's kind of the primo spot for acne is, is the back and upper shoulders. Well, we're taking advantage of those enzymes that are normally there um, already. And that's where you apply the product. And best time to apply it is you got to take two showers a day, which I think we all do, right? If you get up in the morning and then you wait, live, you tend to shower twice. So make sure to have a good loofah sponge with you scrub the area exfoliate the area nicely upper backs and shoulders uh, i have one on a stick and then one in for my hand um and uh and apply it on there i, I do this right at the gym sometimes when i go to, to, my, to the nice gym that i that i like that's got the sauna and, and all that stuff i shit i spent a good bit of time in their shower just using the loofah and, and clearing the skin on those areas and then you apply the antitransoderm right after it it it, it, it dries pretty clear it dries pretty clear. You could put your your clothing on on that that long. You want to scrub, 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 exfoliate, uh, make sure dry, and apply it on. And you exfoliate a little bit with that loofah every time you you do it. It's it, your your skin should be should handle it. If not, only exfoliate the first time. You know you you have to kind of gauge what your sensitive uh, what how sensitive your skin is. But upper shoulders and back, just pump it right out of the pump. And to, to end the number two transoderm, it's on my website, needtobuildmuscle.com. You could Google it, and to transoderm. Um, and it's, it's just a great product. Just apply it on the skin twice with each shower. Uh, it will boost anabolic hormones. If you're doing like, if you're trying not to get underground stuff or you're trying to do like maybe just a little storm cycle and you want to add a little, a little, a little hormones to it, uh, a little anabolic uh, steroidal product to it is really at just antitransoderm is it, you know, it's got, it's got pregnolone, which is going to definitely help with your mood. It, it uh, Guys that get lethargic on like their dianabol cycles will see really, really good results using the antitransoderm kind of helping them not get so kind of worn down and, and so lethargic. I think it's a, it's not only a mood enhancer because it has pregnolone. It also uh, very anabolic because of DHEA. If you if you just ingested that compound, a lot of it would get would get broken down by your gut, and then would would little did make it inside of your body of your system. Then it can encounter any of many different enzymes that can maybe turn it into female hormones. You know, so you have. A lot of product that doesn't make it into the system because of digestion. And then it's just a crapshoot what kind of uh, enzymes are going to come in contact with that DHA in order to form it, to, to make it into your testosterone molecule. Every testosterone molecule flowing through your body now was DHA at one point. It's part of the conversion chain. It happens. So we're just adding that same DHA that your body makes that is to, is DHEA before it becomes testosterone through enzymes in your body, 
and we're and that's legal to sell over the counter. Testosterone is not just a few conver- just a couple of conversions later. Testosterone is not really suitable for you, you got to need a script, but the HEA is fine. It's everywhere. Well, this DHEA enzymes right on the skin. It's the point of entry. Um, there is uh, no, uh, the product is not being destroyed. Uh, some of it will kind of wash off the skin and never make it quite in, it's, but that's, it's not uh, the kind of destruction that happens with stomach acids. And it's right on the, on the enzymes, right? Shoulders, upper back. That's all you need. A couple of pumps, shoulders, upper back. Let, give it time to dry, get dressed, get on your way, repeat at night. Just a great product. Just a great, great product. And using that in combination with, say, uh, HG Generate. Uh, HG Generate is going to help your testes produce as much testosterone as, as they can possibly can naturally. And then you add the HEA, which is an external, um, external source of this precursor, right on the on the shoulders with pregnolone, with chrysin. I mean, it's got, it, also, it also has a couple of uh, anti-estrogen ingredients that go right through the skin just nicely. And you have a really powerful combination. Drop it in with SARMs, drop it in with anything. It's a very powerful, powerful uh, combination um, that I, I suggest anybody try. So n transoderm really exfoliate the skin nice and dry with your shower. Pump, pump, one shoulder, pump, pump, next shoulder, next upper back. Give it a few minutes to dry. Boom, get dressed. Afternoon, you know, nighttime, go get your workout in. After you work out, you take your, your next shower, exfoliate, dry the area, pump, pump, one shoulder, pump, pump, next shoulder, uh, let it dry, put your clothes on and go. And you are adding additional exogenous precursor for male hormone creation at the, at the concentration of enzymes that we want to meet this precursor so that the, 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 the line of conversions is going to create hormones that are going to attach to androgen receptors and create um, androgenic anabolic uh, results. Um, and again, uh, to go back to what I just said, if you ingested this, in, this precursor, which you, you could, um, a lot of it will be destroyed in digestion and you just can't control what's, what is this in your bloodstream coming out of the gut? You can't control which enzymes come in contact with it. And depending on your body chemistry at that time or the day or the month or the year, it could really create more estrogen in your system. It really could, could create more estrogenic hormones, but application on the skin in this particular area that I'm describing. Uh, and some guys like applying it between your legs, between your legs, uh, you have some concentration as well, uh, which it's, it helps, but and between your legs, I don't mean like on your nutsack. I mean literally like just on the sides there, um, below your, your, your sack. Uh, you can also apply a little bit on there if you're going to do a higher dosing. But really, just the shoulders and upper back is enough uh, twice a day. Uh, it's a great, great product uh, for, for anyone to, to use or add to their, to their anabolic cycle. Add it to your dianabol cycle. Add it to any cycle that might make you a little bit lethargic. Add it to your tremble on dianabol stack. Add it there. Definitely that pregnolone uh, in the system for, through the skin makes makes a difference. It makes a big difference. Last one I want to talk about, this is a question that we get also on the forum all the time. n generate versus n generate ES. n generate Classic versus n generate ES. What does ES stand for exactly? And why, you know, tell us about the name change that happened uh, years ago. And tell us the difference between those two. Well, HG Generate was our real strong uh, and is still the same formula, a real strong testosterone booster. But um, the merchant banks, the banks that I was using to process credit cards, they, they one after the other kept giving me shit about the name. Oh, we don't like HCG because it was HG Generate. So then I finally decided to just get the banks off my back. I, I, went, I turned, changed the name to N2 Generate. Still recognizable, same formula. N2 uh, Generate was released in around 2009, 2010. Um, it really was a, 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 it hit it out of the park right away because we got it in the hands of bodybuilders right away. Bodybuilders that had their nuts atrophied. 
and guys across the board were growing their nuts back. And so it, it established the product really strong at the start. That's why it's been around for so long. And then I got, you know, when I developed the product, the formula, I was in my late twenties and it took me a couple of years of messing around with different formulas, giving people samples to figure out what's a good combination. I wanted to do something really, really hot for the bodybuilders. And then as I got older, you know, your needs change a little bit. And I found myself adding additional herbs into my regimen just to give me just a little bit more, more plump on the, on the mushroom head, you know, um, having good sex is, is, is one of the, is one of those really, one of those really important things for many of us. So, uh, I noticed as I got a little bit into my thirties, it just, it wasn't like it was in my twenties and I wanted to change that. So for, to, to keep the, the, the credit card processors off my back, I, I call it into generate ES, which we write everywhere that's public that it stands for extra strength but really it's kind of meant it's really meant to to mean erectile support i just if i put erectile on my web page uh my uh my credit card a company would pull me be like we're, we're not we're not processing this you can't you can't make those claims but erectile support it really adds a bunch of new ingredients 10 of them that aren't on the just original and to generate formula that focus on helping you put more lead in your pencil. Now, inside of each bottle of and of to generate ES, there is a bottle of HG generate classic. It, it's in there. All of those compounds and amounts are in there. Plus additional, plus additional compounds. Um, for example, we use 500 milligrams of a really good quality tribulus in HG Generate Classic. In the HG Generate Extra Strength Erectile Support version, we use 600 milligrams of just a little bit better, a little bit more expensive, higher tier uh, Tribulus product in there. You know, we go through an additional expense availabilities, less, uh, longer lead times to manufacture on that one to get the stuff in. Uh, and we give you more of it. Uh, also, uh, we have a thousand milligrams per day of Fedoja Grestis in the classic version, which is, is plenty for most guys. But on the ES version, we do 1200 milligrams. Same thing with the fenugreek goes from a thousand to 1200 milligrams. Um, there's just a, um, there's just a little bit more. And wherever we could, I could spend some, some extra cash to give extra value to the customer, getting the higher quality, higher rating stuff. You know, we did there, there's horny goat weed in the product, but is the high, 40% I carry in standardized extract. You know, we, we do high, uh, high, um, we do really high standardized extracts on this one. We have ginseng in there, but it's standardized, uh, 90% ginkanoids. Uh, I mean, it's really the higher level of everything. It, it, there's vitamin E in there, but it's organic vitamin E supposed to just regular vitamin E we put in the classic and and look and the classic is already loaded compared to most testosterone boosters on the market there are many testosterone boosters on the market that cost in retail value to the customer what my HG generate classic cost me to manufacture it's a very expensive product to make it's loaded it's already a loaded version it's already it's already a testosterone booster that is meant to be used by steroid users so it had to be strong and then the extra strength version is meant to like outdo that and, and be just like a real all-in-one male support something you could take even off cycle when you're natural and get great results in the gym in the bedroom just i mean just everything just feel like you're you're up and up and you're up for the game all the time on this stuff like you really feel up for the game on this stuff all the time and that is kind of the difference. There's definitely a price difference. The extra strength version is, is twice as much as the classic version, but it's definitely a, a worth a step up. You could take, you could buy a bottle of the extra strength instead of taking five tablets a day, drop it down to three. The product will last you a couple of months, get a great value, and you still get the other 10 ingredients. Or you could just slam it down with the five tablets every single day and have just an incredible, incredible, great product great product for you to uh, for you to have and enjoy. I mean, it's just a, it's just a great, great testosterone booster. Puts a ton of lead in your pencil, 
nice pumps in the gym, nice aggression, nice, just, just very, it's very positive mental outlook. I feel like when I'm on it. Also, many of guys have reported to me, it, it makes them even more attracted to their mate. They find their, their wife or their girlfriend prettier, nicer, smell better. It just, it just heightens your, your, your senses, you know, it makes, it's just, it was, it's really, a, I try to put together a good stack of products, proven herbs that would counteract some of the shittiness that I felt when I was on Clomid, you know, cause Clomid has worked for me for PCT growing my nuts back. Great. But it makes me feel like shit, terrible on Clomid. Well, HC generate and to generate now we call it ES or the classic version plays really well with Clomid. I mean, together with Clomid, it's a great combination, great combination with Clomid. And it just just completely made night and day, like Ronnie would say, apples and oranges, you know, of how you feel, how you feel every day, just every second of the day on the AC generate, the, the mood enhancement, along with the testosterone, along with the sex drive, along with all of that. I think it's it's just it's what kind of has made the product the same formula on the classic has been around going now 12 years, I believe, 11, 12 years. And then the extra strength. Um we're going on about six years with it now, seven almost. And the formulas have stayed the same pretty much because uh, it works. It works over and over and over again. And the guys that have discovered the product actually uh, continue to buy it. Um, and one thing, guys, uh, my products are available all over the world. It doesn't matter where you are, where you live. We will get product over to you. We will send you product. doesn't matter where you are. So make sure that you order from us and we will get the product over to you. Um, most countries where you have to use DHL, some of them were able to use USPS, the ones we know are, are reliable, but wherever you are, Europe, Australia, Canada, India, Tokyo, Hong Kong. I mean, we ship everywhere, South America, Colombia, Costa Rica, Panama, Mexico, we ship everywhere. And our products make it pretty much everywhere. So um, very important, guys. Just just come on out. Come in and, uh, and order from us. Uh, help us support the podcast. And uh, want to support you guys in this uh, New Year's uh, coming up. So uh, come through, man. I really appreciate every single one of you guys that orders from me. Yeah, and N2BM is very, very important, guys. Without N2BM, I don't uh, this- podcast probably wouldn't even exist so um give them a shot guys great products uh designed by bodybuilders for bodybuilders designed by gym rats for gym rats across the board and females as well females can use into band products as well so if you want to buy your girlfriend your wife a product or if you're a lady listening to this podcast you check it out too it's not just for men so Works great for uh, females as well. All these products we talked about were great for females. Uh, Intuslin, great, great product for females. Um, and to generate great, great product for females as well. Um, great. These herbals work, work very well for females across the board, right? Yeah. All these products work incredible for females. The n transoderm product that I'm telling you guys about works great for ladies as well. It, you know, it, it's just a, a, I would, I would get, I would have a, a girl use that probably before Anabar. You know, it's just a great, great, great product. The HEA, uh, right on the skin, incredible product. So um, females can take it. Natural guys can take my products and definitely bodybuilders. And look, um, my grandparents, they take N2 Guard. Um, my father takes N2 Joint RX. My mother takes N2 Guard. My grandmother uses N2 Guard and N2 Sleep. So uh, this is just kind of close family that because the products are health products, they're not bodybuilder products, they're health products for steroid users. Uh, they find it helps them, helps my, my grandparents and my mom stabilize their, uh, their blood results. I mean, their bloods look really good and they, they trust the product because they've seen what Happens when they take it, when they don't. My father loves N2 Joint RX. I mean, he still plays a soccer in two leagues. Dude plays two soccer games a week and feels great and healthy on it. 
Um, you know, it's just a really good health products. And any of you guys out there that are already using the products, um, please recommend them to people, you know, please turn people onto this podcast, help me spread the word. Uh, if you guys appreciate the podcast, if you guys like the products, please, please do help me spread the word. Please do tell people about my brand, tell them about my brand, tell people who we got here for them. And, and, you know, let's, let's, uh, yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you guys. Episode 445 in the books, Q and A's. Great show guys. Keep the questions coming. Talk to you next week. Have a good one, Steve. Have a good one, guys. Guys, this is the required legal disclaimer. We are only sharing our experience from years of steroid use. We are not doctors, and none of what we say should be regarded as medical advice. Always check with your doctor before taking any drugs or starting any training program.